Well, today is going to be a little bit different. First of all, we're not going to roll back to last night because I didn't do anything last night. At least I didn't do any videoing. What I did do was I went through all my paints and found out what it was that I needed and I uh, put in an order, an online order at uh, Eliminator Hobby. And uh, I'm going to be going there and picking up uh, after 1 o'clock. I think they open at 1 today. And uh, uh, yeah, they're, you know, they've got this, they're, they've got, you might say, COVID hours going. And you can't browse through the store. You, you can go and pick it up. And I've, I've been there before uh, under this situation. And there's a, just sort of a little, you might call it a tiny little vestibule just inside where you, you ring the doorbell outside, they let you, they buzz you in, and then you stand in a little enclosed area, and they're behind glass, and you know how it goes. You know, you, you can't actually be too safe. I'm really glad they're doing that. Um, however, one, one of the viewers mentioned that he had bought uh, the HMS hood from Eliminator, but it did not have the color chart. So, just for the fun of it, I want to see if possibly I can't photograph different areas and put snapshots up, which will probably be kind of maybe boring to everybody else. But if, if he was to take those snapshots, now I don't know if this is going to work, I'm just, I'm just assuming it's going to work. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. And, uh, but hopefully he can, he can pause his video at certain places, you know, at the right spot. Like, let's say he wants to find out what, what color was the deck, you, you know, right here. Well, you know, there'll be a snapshot of this area and he should be able to see that that says uh, H27 or 44. And then over here, it, it, it has the, uh, you know, the, the different types. Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, and Humbroil. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. I, I kind of went by by this when I did the uh, the uh, Bismarck, but uh, I, I actually didn't. Don't think I've done that with the with the hood. I think I just went ahead and painted it what I thought it should be, like just you know hull red, and then I think I've got the sides it's the same as the Bismarck. In fact, I'm buying more of that paint today. Anyway, uh, let's just get on with it here. And uh, we did have another nice sunrise, not as spectacular as the other day, but it was kind of nice, so you'd probably see it uh, coming up there in uh, uh, time-lapse. Uh, at least that's the plan right now. So uh, let's sort of get on with the day. Oh, and another thing, in about, uh, probably in about 20 minutes, I'm going to be leaving here because I have another appointment to see somebody at 9 o'clock. Uh, about a snowblower. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get on with today and see what we can do. I did go looking at the snowblower this morning, and it was a place quite a ways out in the country, probably about 15 miles or so. Uh, that'd be like 25 kilometers north of Winnipeg. And um, it was, uh, yeah, sort of a, almost you might say a mom and pop type thing. And they had all kinds of stuff, as you're going to see here. Anyway, I did buy a snowblower. And I'll show it to you next week. They're going to deliver it. Normally, I would turn right here and I would cut through the Safeway Shopping Center parking lot and take a bit of a shortcut home. But I wanted to show you uh, the, the berm. I keep talking about the berm. And uh, if I go home this way, it's only about maybe two blocks further. And I can show you that berm. It'll be off to the right. You won't be able to see my house because it's on the other side of it. But you will see the roof to my house. Uh, if you know where to look. And of course you don't, but I do. Um, but actually, the, the main thing I wanted to show you is that that overpass that people have been asking me, what are those things that look like little castles? 
In fact, you would have seen it in uh, in the uh, time lapse that I showed earlier. So, uh, yeah. That large building off to the right is part of Donwood Manor. That's where my wife spent the last two years of her life. You will notice on the right hand side there's a, a brick wall or a cement wall. That is uh, to keep the noise from the, from the freeway here, you know, from uh, bothering the people that live in those houses. Well, it's sort of our situation, only what happens is the the uh, the cement thing stops, and you'll notice on the right-hand side there's a berm That's where those little trees are. That's the beginning of it, and it gets to about oh, I guess uh, 15 feet high or so. Now the bridge that I'm talking about, we're coming to it right now. You'll notice on the end there's those uh, little castle-like things. That's what you're seeing. It's just a uh, pedestrian overpass for this freeway. Well, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Now, I think that yesterday I said something about I would try to take you to the hobby store today. Well, I'm going to give it a whirl. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll speed it up. We don't have all day here. In fact, I'm running out of time. Now this hobby store, it used to be a well-known hardware store years ago. And uh, it's just on the left-hand side here. Coming up, it's on the other side of that yellow building. See somebody's already standing outside waiting to get in. A dedicated modeler. We'll turn around. Now, as you can tell, if you're watching the uh, GPS time on the uh, screen, uh, we're approximately uh, oh, about five minutes early, so we got to wait until they open. Let's open it up and see what we got. Well, I'm sure that you're all looking at the clock. 
and you're thinking, where did the time go? And, uh, yeah, that's me. I got the right one. Anyway. Okay, now I've got a stash that made up of two models. I got the Rodney, and I got this. Okay, I know it look like, looks like a lot of different paint, but actually there's only I think three different kinds here. And I got uh, two of one and three of another, and no. Do you remember we were talking about, or yeah, we were talking about, let's just let me make some room here. We were talking about the extra thin instant glue. You know, is this, if this is uh, childproof, I'll never get into it. I'll have to wait till my neighbor comes over in about an hour for coffee and help me get this open. Just kidding, of course. Okay. This is the probably the Canadian version of the stuff that Steve was using in in, in the uh, you know that really thin stuff we were talking about about two weeks ago. It's called Super Thin. Um, only here in Canada, I guess they call it something else. Anyway, we'll give this a try. And also, curing agent, which I have been putting off getting for, oh my goodness, it must be, why am I yelling? The camera's right here. Yeah, I've been putting this off for, uh, oh, probably a year. I, I, I don't know why, you know. All I had to do was just go online and order it and go pick it up. I could have probably even had it delivered. You know, this this whole delivery, I think they, they advertised that they would do free delivery uh, for over $100 worth of stuff, and I'm just over 100 here when you have this electric drill. Anyway, well, you can you can see here how this <coughs> electric drill goes. We'll, we'll put it together just for the fun of it. I'll probably do it in time lapse and, so we can get through with it. Anyway, uh, y you know what, uh, Casey? I was talking about... Uh, you know, snapping some pictures of this thing, but I just simply do not have time today. Uh, well, actually, I do, but it's going to be this evening. I'm going to work on this this evening when I can take really nice, sharp pictures, and the plan is to sort of maybe uh, work them somehow in tomorrow's episode, most likely at the end, where I can, you know, leave each one up for about five seconds or so, so that you'll be able to pause. Uh, um, sorry about the background noise there. Uh, my neighbor's mowing the grass. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's good, because he mowed mine too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have bought a lawnmower instead of a snowblower. Uh, <laughs> that's another story. Anyway, I, I think I'm going to have to wind this video up, folks. And I'm going to work on snapping pictures of this thing this evening so I can like I say take really nice sharp ones do the best I can uh, thanks for watching everybody and all being well we'll be seeing you tomorrow <laughs>